out of the shower and I got my little dookie twists. I'm gonna put my towel over my shoulders because one pet peeve of mine is when the product touches my skin. That's why I usually do this in the shower so I can wash it off. I'm gonna undo my twists now. So I've had my hair in a bun for like two weeks. I just really need to, I think I need to do a rice water treatment because my hair has a lot of breakage. It's just a lot of shedding and it's really like, I don't know if you can hear this. Like it just sounds crunchy. And I'm not with the crunch. Basically I'm using all Miel products, avocado and tamanu. This is a curl protector. All of the products I'm using are from Miel, Miel except for one that's it i'm using this line this is the avocado and tamanu y'all heard me talk about it multiple times actually with the exception of two because i'm also using my as i am restore and repair just to get my hair a little bit more damp i'm gonna work on one side at a time i saw a couple of comments on my last video to tell me that i should work in smaller parts and true but I'm too impatient for that. If I'm like feeling it, I will do it. But if I'm not, child, these big parts gonna work. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm gonna go in with the curl protector first. And I'm taking about that much. I know that looks like a lot. But listen, my hair literally eats product. I'll put this and it'll feel like I didn't put nothing at all. My hair literally eats product. So I'm just gonna work that in. That's basically all I'm doing. This is my 3C4A. These are damaged. Let me preference that the front of my hair is damaged. This title, this video is titled 3C4A because my 3C4A hair, the front of my hair has retention damage. So yes, this very much looks like 3A, 3B, but it's but now I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna split the top half in half. Okay, you know what, forget the towel. So one pet peeve of mine is when the product touches my skin. Going in with another product from Miel, pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse. I look like such a big Miel stan, and I am. But I got all of these products: the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in. All of these products I got from the five dollar sale that they do every year. Ten out of ten recommend. If you don't stock up during that time, like it's literally five dollars. You can literally spend fifty dollars, and you can get so much stuff. Highly recommend. But I think they only do it in December or around that time, around Black Friday. So I'm gonna just take some of this. Okay, this product that I have been using since 2020, I'm gonna say, this is like a holy grail product. I love this brand. I would highly recommend this brand next to Meow, especially this. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I always pronounce it to Talia Wajid. Talia Wajid, I'm not sure. But this is the Curly Girl Jello. This is conditioning and hydrating gel, and you oh, This is a little pricey, but it's definitely worth it, and it definitely lasts a long time. But let's get into the formula, so. It's like a jelly, it's literally jello. Like it's literally like a jelly-like consistency. And I'm gonna tell you that all I need is what's in this top for this side of my hair. I need like this much for like half of your hair. It's just like a really silky jelly-like material. It's just, it's bomb. I'm actually gonna go in with just a little bit more. I'm working on growing out my hair. I have a bad habit of literally just chopping the bottom half of my hair off when I feel split ends and I feel split ends, but I'm trying not to be uh, scissor happy. I'm trying. So I'm gonna just do the same thing to this side. products throughout my entire head i'm trying to not get a permanent middle part but it's not working i have a permanent middle part now that i have product throughout my whole head though i'm going to let it air dry for a bit wait till it's probably 80 percent dry then i'm gonna come back and then i'm gonna blow dry my hair or diffuse my hair and then we'll see the final product once i'm done all right y'all it's been a good hour and an hour and a half my hair is not fully dry it's dry enough to where i can use the diffuser on it so we're gonna go ahead and use the diffuser okay so this is what we're working with not complete 
completely dry but it's somewhat dry usually i'll go in with a pick and pick it out but i can't find it right now so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my blow dryer on the cool not cool cool but on the medium setting and then i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna stretch some of my curls out just to give it some more body <laughs> the subtle difference that it makes already like hello hello so would you like more this side or this side and we're done Usually I'll go in with my pick like I said and I'll just pick it out but I'm just gonna use my fingers. That is my curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.